Hello there baseball fans, here is an updated video on how to make the major leagues as soon as possible. MLB The Show 20 is pretty similar to last year. Leaving the minor leagues is achieved by improving your player's overall rating. In order to do that, you're going to want to edit the sliders, buy some equipment, play every appearance, and only choose training that will increase your attributes. The absolute first thing you're going to need to do is edit and save your sliders before you even make your player. I recommend reading each description as some are sort of contradictory to each other. For instance, power increases fly balls while contact increases line drives. You can adjust them to suit how you like baseball to be played. My choice for getting the big leagues quick is boosting power, timing, and lowering computer pickoffs. The power boost will allow us to hit more doubles and triples, which leads to a boost in speed as well. Hitting for power increases both power and contact, while hitting singles will increase your contact but does not raise power. We are looking to improve our attributes as fast as we can. Once you make the majors, you can play as you like. Moving on, you'll want to lower pickoff attempts as well as increasing base runner speed. This will greatly reduce the number of times they throw over to first after taking a one step lead. And that is important because speed and steals are something we can use to our advantage in the minor leagues, even if we don't intend to be speedsters in the majors. Getting a decent jump without the fear of getting picked off will allow you to boost your in-game overall by increasing speed and stealing every time you get to first base. So, for this, go into mode specific settings and change your base runner opportunities to all. Then once you've stolen second base, you can press start and simulate to your next moment. I don't recommend trying to steal third, ever. <laughs> ever. When it comes to fielding, just remember that no matter how hard it may seem at first, it's your player that sucks, not you. To fast forward this grind, I recommend playing the outfield, keeping it simple and throwing your cutoff man every time, no matter what. Albeit if you have a chance to make a play at the plate, go for it, but 9 times out of 10 you should just be pressing L1. This helps because throwing your cutoff man is the only way to gain a boost in arm strength and arm accuracy consistently. The boosts seem to be handed out kind of randomly if you throw directly to bags from the outfield. These ridiculous minor league numbers that you're going to be putting up will only get you so far. The game doesn't really care if you hit 500, it will only acknowledge you once hitting 500 has raised your overall higher than others in your organization. To speed this process up, I suggest setting aside a couple thousand stubs and purchasing silver or gold equipment for your player to wear. The best part is, no matter the gear, you can customize the look by pressing triangle on the top tab, except this doesn't work for diamond bat skins, which is a shame. Lastly, a few times a month you'll be given the opportunity for training. Honestly, I would choose any option that you don't normally see in games. Any boost to discipline is a big, big help, and increasing your durability will allow you to play in more games without needing a personal day off. I also don't think you should choose any training that raises an attribute cap until your attribute has actually reached that cap. You most likely won't hit a cap until you're already in the big leagues. You don't need to worry about relationship stuff until you get to the big leagues and have some freedom. San Diego Studios did a great job by incorporating relationships into the flow of the game, so now you'll be making friends with your teammates just by playing games and being on the field with them. Now which personality path is the best, I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure. I haven't had the chance to test them all, but there doesn't seem to be a bad choice. Responding to questions and conversations with the same trait will unlock smaller perks for your player to gain the benefit of during play. Some perks are really game changing, like having your teammates steal often when you're at the plate with men on. Some perks are much more passive, like hitting better at home. I think it's okay to choose whatever personality path suits you the best. My extra super big brain tip this year is to play with guest pitch off. My reason for this is because in this year's version, the game actually punishes you for taking easy pitches over the plate. Maybe you could define it as hittable pitches, because they don't really seem to care if you take a strike on the corner, but you will get a negative in vision if you take a pitch down the middle. In my opinion, having guest pitch on was helping my patience because I would be sitting on a certain pitch, but it held me back from being aggressive in the way the game now wanted. I found that after turning it off, I was more comfortable hitting the hanging pitches as they showed up. It's a whole new kind of confidence and I think you'll hit better this way too. I think that's all the tips I have for today. You need to edit your sliders, you need to buy some equipment, you need to train the right attributes, and you need to play every day. 
And if you're like me, you want to get to the pros as quick as possible. Like I said, you can change all these settings once you get there, but I think you'll find doing this will get you there the quickest. So until next time, later days.